video I wanted to explain training for the Olympics and the journey. I assume it is every gymnast dream to go to the Olympic Games. What is your gymnastics dream? To go to the Olympics. Go to the Olympics and hopefully win a medal. To make it to the Olympics. To become an Olympian. To the Olympics. To go to the Olympics. Rip. Compute with a GB flag on my chest. I love that. Love that. You ask me what is my dream in gymnastics right now. I want to build a legacy, create a legacy. I want everyone in 10 years time to when they think of or get asked about gymnastics to think of my name. Most definitely means that I need to win the Olympics. So exciting. I love the sport so much. You know For the Olympics, what is it like? It is a journey accumulated for me over 16 years. 16 years of gymnastics, putting in the work, and the truth is, all these lads around me training, they're on that journey, and it's never guaranteed. Listen to me, I did not believe or know I was going to become an Olympian to probably at the age of 18 years old, and that's something to take away. So difficult to comprehend for a seven year old. Of course, you know, all the kids at the start of the video, it's their dream, but it is impossible to comprehend that it will happen. When I was 18, it was kind of there. I'd stepped up at the senior stage, I made a world final at 18 on high bar, clicked it. I had the belief, you know, I, I do belong here. Fortunately, my path into becoming a senior was very fluent, but it's not been the same for many other gymnasts. And I would implore you to not worry about becoming an Olympian, particularly at the ages of 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And all you can worry about right now, doing as much work as you possibly can and enjoying and loving every single day. I would not have wanted to go if it wasn't something that I enjoyed. So the huge part, setbacks, injuries, failure. Shana K, dislocated ankle. Is it going to stop you? No. No. <laughs> Broken fingers, not a problem, is it, Alf? No. no. Every single person, every single high-level athlete, been through setbacks myself, reconstruction surgery on my wrist cartilage, Double stress fractures in my lower back, the list goes on and on. The people that reach the top, I believe, have a very positive mindset and attitude towards these setbacks. You know, failure isn't failure, it's just learning, it's just an experience. Not naive to the fact that literally, you know, what I've been through is nothing compared to other athletes who have reached the top. Literally, my training partner, Ashley Watson, has had four surgeries on one leg. It's a certain individual, I believe, to overcome adversity. Every Every single setback, every single failure for myself has made me a stronger athlete, a stronger individual every single time. It certainly plays a huge role in the journey to becoming an Olympic athlete. I'm Neil, Sally, Joanna, my whole family have been incredibly supportive, persistent, and one key point is they have just been my family, they've just been my mum and dad, they've not crossed boundaries of coaching, they've not pushed me too hard, they've just encouraged me to follow what I love and find my passion, which was in gymnastics. My athlete reaches the Olympics without an incredible support network around them, and that's not just family. It's impossible to do it alone, 100%. Expressing insight to what it's like training for the Olympics. If that is something that you are endeavouring to do in life, a recap, do not think about the Olympics. Think about the day-to-day, -day. just loving what you do, whatever sport it is that you do. Be the best you can be every single day and work harder than every single person. The setbacks, they will happen, the injuries will happen along the journey. It's how you overcome them, your mindset towards them, your attitude towards them. Stay positive, the dream at the end is much, much stronger than those obstacles in front of you. Surround yourself with your dream team, those who support Support you, those who are positive, gonna help you achieve what you want to achieve. And listen, I'm by no means telling you what to do, just taking you through my journey, what I've learned of becoming a professional athlete. If you can take inspiration from the words I'm using, fantastic. If not, don't worry about it. Train smart, keep it real. I love you lots.